Hey gang, we're here with our new video tutorial for our May 2013 Joomla template Lifestyle Outpost. So let's check it out. As you see, Lifestyle Outpost is a very sleek, flat design that takes the current web trend and blends it with an e-commerce store. And you see here we've got our e-commerce in. We have our products on the home page. Go down here, we have some banners and we have our menu down at the bottom with all the customer service information. You go back up to the top here. We have a nice jQuery slideshow. This is our easy image gallery. And then we have this nice little drop down panel here that we put in for you. So if you want to showcase a banner ad in here, that's a perfect place for it as you see when we refresh the page it starts and then drops down so let's check out the other features here um, the store is totally based on K2 so if we go to the shop area here we're going to go to our categories and these are the basic categories that we've set up inside of K2 and here we have a nice category menu we've also included uh, the favorites here this is our reading list component for K2 and so if we go over here and we go to say kitchen okay now we're gonna see the K2 items and you see we have some nice CSS3 styling here um, we also have the add to cart in here and this add to cart is actually K2 store this is a free component and plugin for K2 that you can get from k2store.org they also have a pro version we are using the free version here and we've also included a discount coupon for 35 percent off the pro version should you want to upgrade to the pro version with all the pro version features our template for k2 and for k2 store will work with both the free and the paid version so let's go ahead and check out an item okay so as you see here on the item page <clears throat> we've got our water bar we have the favorite here and this one we don't have everything turned on as you see here we have the shipping info but that's not filled out because this is purely demo content that we have in here right now so every category isn't filled out with it so if you want to see the actual k2 item that we filled out with the most stuff yeah, we'll, let's go over here to the k2 item here the watch okay here's a good example of this and as you see we've got the men's watch and this is the plugin that's being called into the K2 to create the cart feature and as you see here we have our related items by tag tagged under published in the rating the shipping info here this is the extra fields from K2 this is the main image and this is our image gallery plugin loading into K2 so you don't have to worry about simple image gallery unless you choose to install that yourself and then we do have the favorite here and this is to go ahead and favorite it and you can save it into your reading list over here so let's go ahead and look at another category here like gadgets and as you see we've loaded it up with a lot of demo content to get you started and as you see it can be used for anything from fashion to gadgets and even more if we go over here to the Joomla content we set up the Joomla content with our overrides with the left featured the right featured and the center featured I see it has a nice content layout here so this is a three column and a four column down here and let's go ahead and take a look at the center featured and the left featured and the two column category and let's go ahead and check out a Joomla article and here's our Joomla article uh, one thing that's unique to our templates is one of the problems that we found in Joomla is when you have something that you want to put say in the right module position to the content how are you going to be able to show it only on say the content page but not the category view page if you only have one menu link to it 
There are ways to get around that by doing dummy menus and such, but we've made it really easy by including what we call sidebar right and sidebar left. These are sidebars that only show up on content pages. So you just have to select the sidebar and say just show it on the content page and it'll show it on whatever content you page that you want, but it won't show inside the category view. So that's a neat little overlook feature that we've added uh, probably in the last six months, but I think it's uh, going to become a very standard with the Joomla templating doing things like this. So let's go back to the home page real quick and take a look at the responsive nature. In fact, let's go over and take a look at style two. Let's change up the style a little bit. We've given you four styles here and you see here's the red one and let's go ahead and pull our browser in here and get some mobile view looks. So as you see this pulls in nicely comes in even more nicely. We get the mobile version, the mobile menu. Here's the login, register, search, and your cart. Pull it in even more and pop. We've got our logo here and this is for the iPhone. Look at how nice this is going to look on a phone. I'm perfect browsing. So we go here and let's go ahead and check out a maybe the blade lamp. We got your categories here. I guess we're not actually on the iPhone. Let me pull it in even a little more here because this is what happens on a phone. Your category becomes a drop down, so it's easy to get around. This all centers. As you see, this all comes together nicely. So, you know, we've thought about every function from a tablet to the desktop to a phone when it comes to the responsive nature of the template. Okay, and let's check out a couple more styles here, and then I'll go ahead and show you the back end and show you a few things that you'll need to know when you set this template up. So we're going to go to style 3. Style 3 is an orange style, and we darken the header on this to give it a, a little more contrast. I think some of you might want to even go ahead and do some styling here with the whole template to make it darker if you want. That might work good for, say, an electronic store or something. If we go over here to style 4, 